What's up guys, and I'm here today to talk about critic reviews on Metal Gear Online 2 from the year 2008. So let's get started. As you can see, MGO2 has an 81 meta score by 10 critic reviews. I don't think that's very good. If you look at the Metal Gear Solid 3's online MGO1, it's clearly a lot more better. I don't know why. 94 meta score and user score 91 and if you look at the MGO3 that's that's exactly right 72 meta score and user score 7 because MGO3 was so bad but let's get started with the reaction to the MGO2 as you can see other famous games which MGO isn't or wasn't have Higher scored MCO2 and I don't know exactly why but for example Modern Warfare 2 is 94 meta score and that's kinda right because that's like the best Call of Duty there is or ever existed with the user score of 6.7 with a lot of ratings. But that's not really right because as we all know or most of you my sub dear subscribers that this game is a lot more better than Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 but I try to find a way why it is like this number 2 best PS3 game of 2009 and so on a lot of positive critic reviews and user reviews but then MGO has only a lot more lower that's wrong. I don't think that's very right. Some critics are saying that MCO is strong, stable foundation for a very promising online shooter. Some say with the PlayStation official ma magazine UK, the slower pace might frustrate those use it the car to the force at runners to get pathless. Um, maybe the critics never played with runner skill level three. I mean the game can be very slow but if you play it and put the right customization skills right it's gonna be perfect well balanced online shooter. Eurogamer Portugal give it 70 out of 100 saying of course it's been for being free game to play but most of its flaws can be overlooked as a game by itself. It's a little argument facing other heavy hitters available on the platform. And right here I agree with the Eurogamer review of 17 out of 100. It says if however Gunnami plans to turn this into an ongoing spin-off with commercial potential then it needs serious work. Well I don't think it needed serious work but the commercial potential it needed because game was so underrated and with a very small community and a lot of glitches so and so on it sort of been more polished with the commercial and stuff so on to get more people to play the game and right now we are going into the 2022 and game is more dead than ever even with the revival server it's a shame because it's still by far the best online game for forever there has been awards and rankings number 41 best ps3 game of 2008 number 41 most discussed ps3 game of 2008 number 75 most third ps3 game of 2008 it's the same because I don't think these awards and rankings are really clear because this will be right here number one best game of 2008 and I think many of you agree even after all these years the number one PS3 game or at least multiplayer online game but I don't exactly know why it's only 41 and these kind of I mean these are not bad placements but it should be a lot of higher as you all know and kinda at least agree with me here's a good positive review a brilliant game you get for free with MCS4 what's to complain about that's what I like to hear user score is 7.8 with 71 ratings 
and with positive 17 and mixed reviews 5 and negative 2. I think the community mostly ag agrees that the game is very much very much perfect and addictive and so on. Some users saying that it does not quite match the single player part of MGS but it still has very deep gameplay me mechanics. So yeah, the gameplay mechanics are one of the best things about the game. And it is very addictive even after all of these years. Some user is saying that stealth is unfortunately very bad down. Maybe it's just because I'm not very good for the version. Well, that might be pretty true because the MGO2 wasn't just a stealth game like the single players are. It's more like a shooter game with action and team based combat. Kind of the most competitive game there was with the survival and tournament. Nothing. These today's games are like the competitive side of MGO2 with survival and tournament. All of these days competitive ranked modes, for example Apex Legends or so on Valorant ranked are nothing compared to this competitive side of MGO2. I remember that some critics say that the shooting and with the guns, it was clunky and very big recoil, but maybe he didn't use the Assault Rebel 2 skill. <laughs> so that's why there was a lot of recoil, because it is very bad recoil if you don't use Assault Rebel skill. But um, that one thing about the game is that should be changed if we can later in the future. That everybody uses M4 Assault Rebel. If the SMGs or other guns were more powerful, it would be nice to see using them other weapons as well in the game. MGO3, this Metascore right here is well deserved. User score could be even lower, because MGO2's user score is 8 at 7.8, but MGO3's is 7.0 should be at least two point difference but metascore here is pretty much mixed bad reviews with a couple of positives but mostly mixed so mco3 was a fail let down we all can i think we all can agree with that but mco1 right here 94 metascore with metal gas 3 substance subsistence and user score 9.1 I've never played MGO1 maybe I will try it but what I've seen MGO1 isn't that nearly as good as MGO2 what I've seen at least because the shooting feels and looks much better on MGO2 but for MGO1 the critics are saying this is the best offering of gameplay, XS and multiplayer that has come out in some time. I don't know why MCO1 is so high rated with the reviews and even number one best PS2 game of 2006. But I know and remember that a lot of people like it MCO1. Anyway, let's get back on to MCO2. Everything about this game, Metal Gear Online was perfect. It was well balanced and so few maps were kind of not so good and maybe a little bit unplayable with the frame rate issues and some balancing but most of the maps and the gunplay and the character customization total stats survival from the Davis side everything was perfect on the game and it was so well balanced I think you most of you agree with me so what I the final conclusion with my the final thoughts with this score, it is fine, but it should be a lot more higher as you can see other games like Call of Duty or so on. Many of the multiplayer games these days have a lower meta score than like 10 years ago it was by the critics and even by the, from the user score, but for this 
these days of 2008 to 2000, 2012 should be a little bit higher. User score is fine because it's mostly bad for multiplayer games these days. But I think it should have had, but I think it should had higher scores by critics and as well as user score. But I think we all agree that this is the best online game since 2008, or at least most of you, and it will be probably in the future for a very many times to come. So yeah, game is very addictive. Play it thousands of hours, and maybe I will in the near future, even next year, with the new map and stuff coming from your PC. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you want me to make more video logs like this and reactions to MGO videos or other good stuff and videos press the like button and comment it what you think so thank you but this is really but this is not really real